Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm actually meeting up with a buddy of mine in a little bit. He's gonna come over here. Of course, we're gonna keep our distance from each other, practice social distancing. But um, today, we're gonna do some back bay fishing. Usually early in the season like this, back bays are the place to go. A lot of bait, you know, comes in them, striper follow them. So we're gonna check this out out here today. And I'm gonna start throwing the, um, the Elias V fish and extreme peanut shad first right away. I brought some other lures with me. We're gonna maybe try some top water out here. I really wanted to try top water, but I'm starting out with this shad because I actually came out here yesterday, me and my buddy, and um, we were kind of just exploring spots and did catch two fish yesterday. So let me just start off this video. These clips, uh, these two fish were caught yesterday. And then uh, when they're done, we're gonna get right back into here. Yeah, it's it's weird. Oh, yeah, I got one. Yeah. It's shaking, so it's definitely a striper. Yeah, he feels nice. Just got into a fish with the Elias shad. Yeah, this is a good bass. Woo. He's up there. Definitely, a, definitely probably a keeper. Nice. Wow, the hook came right out. Lie shad got it. That's a nice bass. Close to a keeper size. Could just be shy of it. Right, let's let's get him going. Woo. There she goes. Nice. Cast way by the tree. Oh, fish on? Yeah. Small one. Nah, it's a small bass. He was close to shore. <laughs> nice little guy. Exploring new spots, paying off. Nice. Those fish were fun yesterday. The first one was, he was pretty big. He was, he wasn't a keeper. I know in the video I was getting a little excited saying he was a keeper. He was probably just under it. But uh, the, yeah, the second one was a little, you know, a little dink schooly. But it was still fun to catch some fish, you know, end of March. So hopefully today we'll get into a few. I'm just using my uh, seven foot St. Croix Mojo inshore rod today. It's a medium heavy fast action rod. Perfect for like what I'm doing right here. Just throwing a three quarter ounce, you know, swim shad. We're on the flood tide right now. I believe top of the tide is in another two and a half hours. Hey, yo, what's up? I'm gonna stay over here. I, uh, earlier on with like fifth or sixth half, I had a bone. And I felt like you bumped. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't had any hits yet. Then I went back, I went to the trip chat, and I was like, now I'm using an estimate on. It's windy. It's really windy. See bait jumping? Yeah. Oh, fish on, right? Yeah, right here. Nice. It's 
small guy. He hit close. Yeah, he's kind of small. Ooh, easy, don't don't swim into the waders. First bite today on the Elias Shed. There he goes. Look at this seagull right here. It's so weird, I saw him drop out of the sky. It looked like he was diving onto bait in the water over here. Now he's just floating on the surface. I don't know if he's got like some kind of disease he's dying. Maybe coronavirus infecting birds now. Definitely something wrong with him though. He's like right in front of me. Yeah, no, there's something wrong because he like dropped out of the sky. Yeah, I thought it was an osprey like diving on something, but then I saw it was a seagull. And he was like struggling though when he like hit the water. It's coming right by us. Looks like he has like, definitely he's not floating right. Yeah, it's something wrong with him. Yeah, he's gonna come down by you. I mean, it doesn't look like his wing is broken or anything. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong if he's coming that close to us. He's doing something. You all right? Fly away. Nah, there's something wrong with him. All right, so we're switching up lures now. We put on Bunker Colored Mad Mantis Pencil Popper. This is their small popper. Try some top water. Now that the wind kind of let up a little bit, it's a little bit calmer out here. I still see Bunker splashing on the surface, so we know there's plenty of bait out here. Thing casts a mile, too. Yeah, it is weird. All right, we ain't getting no hits on top water. Let's switch it up, take this back off. Maybe we'll throw the shad back on. All right, so I threw the Elias V Fish and Extreme Peanut Shad back on. Let's see if the bass will bite this again. Splashing this way, I think. Yeah, fish on. This one feels a lot better. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, sort. You might got one of those bigger ones. He's pulling some drag. I think got one of those bigger ones. The mama. The mama. He's bigger than the one I caught before. Nice. Ooh, hook came right out. Not bad. He's small, but definitely puts up a good fight on the inshore rod. Woo! All right, that was cool. Got a little bit bigger. Maybe some bigger girls are coming through. I'm way out there right now. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. You just got smacked on the popper. Holy shit, did you see that guy? Dude. Come on, come back for it. Oh my God. Get it back out there again. He could still be in that area. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he popped. He 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 nailed it, but he just just missed it. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Oh, fish on! Oh, he came off. Damn, he hit close too, right here. Yeah, he pulled the shad. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for me on this video. We caught some bass today out here, but I didn't get as much as I would have liked. 
But I mean, we did get some that were, you know, decent size for this early in the season. And then my buddy, he also had that sweet blow up on top water. So that was pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video doing some back bay fishing. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming. Drop a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.